Ah, sitting here in the morning of Black Friday. Finish some materialism. There were a couple of items I wanted to pick up, and that was as great of a time as any. I figured I'd wait for a dealer three. I need to play some more Stardew Valley. And uh, that time up the top for Prosperity Farm is not that far off. I checked the playlist video length, uh, which factored in all of the uh, public published episodes, so it won't count last episode. Uh, factoring that in manually, this, uh, this playlist has been over 114 hours. The average video length, 29 minutes and change. I've played out each day, though I have gone to bed early on Sundays. It's been comprehensive. Though not complete, we managed to accomplish perfection. As the game reads it. It's a good thing I have that rain totem in my inventory. Oh, uh, heaven knows I might have forgotten. I will have to wait, though, for Sebastian to walk down to the beach. Again, presuming he does do that. I don't know his exact schedule. He's not someone I have cared to memorize in length. Now, I will say, though, uh, without any of the convenience modifications I had for the game, uh, this playlist definitely would have been several hours longer. That stuff has helped me keep track of variables and numbers. <laughs> Ailey, I'm the one responsible for making it rain. You're welcome. I like, I like this here, filling these spaces. This here doesn't work. I, I don't feel too great about having, like, this table floating here, just for that, but I do like the light there. I'll move this back down here for now. Obviously, this... This is lies fallow, not being used. Hey, Abigail! Uh, hi, um... I just wanted to say sorry for acting so weird yesterday. You probably understand what happened. Yeah, you... You love Grimace. You know, McDonald's secondary mascot. I get compared to him a bit. Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> you want some stir for one? No? Sorry about what happened at my place yesterday. My mom can get into bad moods sometimes. Please just forget it happened. Both Penny and Abigail asking us to forget about yesterday. Damn. Well, these things happen. Looks like it's wine day! I guess that'll give me something to do while waiting for Sebastian to head to the beach, yeah? Okay. Let's just shuffle these things down here for now. Grab some wine, some star fruit. We don't have that many left. Huzzah! Though I do know there's going to be a fresh crop of starfruit coming in tomorrow, I think it is. Is it tomorrow? It is tomorrow. Hmm. Do I just wait on kegging things? I could do that. I could do that. I say like all of this truly matters. Slam that in here. Ooh. Don't get don't get carried away with your tools there, Grim. Here's what I'm thinking. I can make some fairy dust. And I have some fairy dust on hand. That's not gonna be enough for me to go through hundreds of kegs, though. Yeah, not hundreds of kegs. <laughs> I don't have that many banked up fairy roses. That's all right. I'll well, just uh, I tell you what, I'll keg the uh this lower end fruit. Old habits. Hey, purple mushrooms out of this. Not just common ones. Robin hard at work, rain or shine. She didn't know that she was bored and wanted more carpentry projects. 
Well, we got her covered. Yeah, that'll be fine. Put those in there, even 500. As opposed to the other even number that was in there. <laughs> Put those in there. Slam those in. That's just gonna be finished today. I don't need to have this in my inventory anymore, he said, choosing to believe that was true, secretly fearing otherwise. Okay. Put this down here. I don't have any saved up in here, right? Nope. Okay. Just pull out some fruit. Why don't we... get rid... of these things and put more fruit in. Okay. Let's get kegging. Gotta make sure I, uh, I'm good on spending cash for anything else I might want to purchase before ending the playthrough. Of course, I would be fine if I just emptied the kegs out. Or, you know, if I just sold a bunch of stuff I had on hand. <laughs> I don't need to spend that much more money. Perfection has been achieved. Oh, I could put I could put the this wine and the casks down in the basement. You know? Maybe. <laughs> Got a plan for the future story that's gonna be told, you know, of what these characters will do after I leave the playthrough. Of uh, where the family will go and what they will accomplish. Maybe we'll get out there and meet Haley's parents. Still on their pleasure vacation cruise, hurrah. Would you believe that if we let this this playthrough go decades, we would never see them? <laughs> no, nothing would change. But, you know, that's no surprise. Think of it like an animated series. Stuff's big on not much changing in those. Ooh. Yeah. Who knew? Who knew I ran out of star fruit? How about that? Just get rid of this stuff on the bar here. Deposit that too. The apples. The apricots. The bananas. Some banana wine. I can safely say I've never had banana wine. fruit wine <laughs> can also safely say I've never had any cactus fruit wine that I'm aware of anyway Oop. I think I missed a keg in here there we go and we have some ancient fruit some more ancient fruit Yep. 
much time is separating this? Yeah. Just finishing. I thought it might. Oop. Watch this the day Sebastian's like, no, I went to the beach yesterday. I ain't going to the beach again today. And I'm like, damn it. Don't have a whole lot of fruit left. There we go. Wanna process some vegetables, Grim? Yeah, good. I could do that. Or leave the kegs empty. There's a there's a sermon of different things I could do, but let's make some vegetable juice. The the imagery of which confused me, uh, because I didn't realize that the stuff had changed in 1.6. The graphical presentations. What uh what kind of spirits would I like to make? Good question. Can I? No. I mean, I haven't milled the right... I gotta... I'm gonna go check, okay? <laughs> this... This won't work, right? Right? It's unmilled rice. Right? It's gotta be milled. <laughs> Unmilled rice juice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, that's great. I am I am delighted by this. I mean, it is a vegetable. Those back there. Let's warp to the beach. Even though Sebastian's not on the beach. Cool, we're still able to get the event. Grimoth? Where'd you come from? My farm. Hey, I'm surprised to find you out here in the rain. Have you, do you not know anything about what I've done in this valley? Look at those dark clouds looming over the horizon. I hope they come this way. I like this weather, because it makes everyone disappear. You know? Being around people makes me feel anxious. I don't feel that way around you, though. Or Sam. You're the only two people. Abigail, who? We're getting soaked. Here, there's room for two. Oh. Oh. Bro, you could extend your arm out further. All right. Wonder if we'll run into any quirky dialogue from the folks uh, whose events we saw yesterday. Penny? Everything good in here, Pen? I wish I could keep a garden, but our yard is such a mess. Maybe I'll live in a place where I can have a garden someday. Hint, hint. Maybe I'll live on a farm. Hint, hint. Yeah, maybe. I did need to drink that. I think it's fine. We have some. If I... If I sold my triple shot espressos, we would we would be able to travel and live pretty well, I dare say. Where's Abigail at today? Oh. Vincent have a checkup today? Must have. Where does all the time go? I remember when Sam was a little baby wearing diapers. 
Such a cute kid. Must really like talking to me, huh? You're not as boring as most grown-ups. We could have gotten their clinic dialogue today. Abigail? The spirits have a mind of their own. She's blushing. They sure do. They sure do. Hmm. Looks good. Looks good. This damn movie, though. You betrayed me. Betrayed. Look, sellers in town. Let's have a look. Hmm. How you doing? A raccoon journal, Way of the Wind, The Queen of Sauce, Cookbook. You know what? What the hell? I'm gonna buy that and read it. You learned zero new recipes. Are you sure now that I've read it? Yes. Good. Important for completion's sake. I needed a thumbs up. These aren't gonna get thumbs ups because they just give you experience normally anyway. And that doesn't show on our, our catalog. Yeah, it does not show on the book catalog. Makes sense. It's not a special power, knowing recipes. Well, uh, think of it as uh, we're buying it to gift to someone. I'm not sure who gets the catalog as a gift. Someone, though. Someone. Could ride up to see if Sebastian has anything to say after our event today. Penny, you want to live on the farm? I'll pay you 1%. That's right, I'll pay you to live on the farm. You will have to take care of a very expansive garden. Hey, how are things going on the farm? Same old routine, huh? Yeah, I know a few thing or two about that. Yep, same old routine, buddy. I have that radio. Demetrius? How's the pharma business going? It's parsnip season, isn't it? Yes. I can imagine it being pretty peaceful working outdoors with plants all day. Outdoors. Yes. That's what we do. Outdoors. If you want to make friends with my band, you can't go wrong with Bean Hot Pod. Oh yeah, Gus sends me those. He loves that stuff. There's plenty of weekend dialogue that we could have gotten, some flavorful things. It's Saturday or Sunday where you can get a bunch of problems with the villagers, some Q&A to raise your relationship with them, reveal some more flavor and dialogue. People here seem nice, but they avoid me. People are afraid of the unknown! Ooh. Hey, Linus, have you ever held a planchette in your hand? I felt like a stranger at first, but I've made a lot of friends. For once, I feel like I belong. Yay! Friendship. Sure, I'll pick up a leak. I'll take a leak. Aha! Okay, I did it for events. Pegged some stuff. We've got unmilled juice coming. <laughs> and this shed is an empty, a clear slate. So something I was thinking about doing was moving the Miniopolis to like here aroundabouts and putting the Junimo chest here and putting like the other Junimo chest like in one of these two buildings and using that to quickly, you know, get some stuff out for processing. We got some stuff to process. So. You know, we, we, we don't regularly process. You know, I built so many dehydrators. What if I just built like a, a shed full of, of animal processing devices? That's how you want to sort things, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense.
Doesn't mean I have to like it. All right, it all fits, except for the Iridium stuff. Great, good job. We did it. Let's sell some ostrich eggs. It may be the world's largest egg. Let's sell five of them. Also sell some giant dino eggs. Full of dino DNA. Those eggs definitely look bigger. I think this is conclusive evidence of the size of the egg. Duck feathers. A tasty relative of the onion. Oh yeah, that's something else I gotta do. Oh yeah, that also has a normal tapper. Yeah, you can stay there. Yeah, I can't care enough. It's not like I'm doing anything with the oak resin I currently have anyway. Okay. Keep the leak. Put that there. Healy! It's game night? Rain is horrible for a photographer. The lighting is awful and you can't go outside without ruining your equipment. Don't recognize this music track off the top of my head. Well, anyway. Oh, it was it was starting to do something different there and I abandoned it. Oh. Oh, I guess I didn't place these correctly, huh? Well. Thankfully. We can just whack the wine out of there. See how kind and giving this game is? Very friendly for players. Of all skill levels. And so much has been added over this game over the past eight years. This is its 1.0 release. Living, breathing machine, that. I do recognize that track. Hey! Those are done. Huzzah! I want to use a sturgeon row? Why? I got crimson fish row. 26 of that sells for 20,000. Okay. Out of gold. Put in the heavy furnace. That age legend row, man. That's great stuff. It's great stuff. How many bars are we up to? Yeah. Yeah, the gold bars we would go through so much of if I wanted to, say, engage in other industrial pursuits. 23 more crystallariums. Hmm. Hmm, yes. Yes. Hmm. Robin, at least I have that well lit for you for a change. Okay. Let's let's think this out here. Four. Actually, I think I just want the egg makers down here. Uh, eight. Then you can do like a little space there, and then there's like a four here. And then a little space there, and four there. A little space. One. Let's make four more cheese makers. Look at me scaling up animal production. Oh, or animal produce, I should say. Okay. Sure thing, Griffith. Now I make three more cheese presses out of wood. Goodness. Understood, Your Honor. I will... 
This is a dark day. I'll be taking that stuff back. Let's go! I have some, uh... things to do back here. Not gonna leave me with time to also make what I'm thinking about making, and then as well place the things I'm making, and then as well also s load the things I'm making. Another cheese press. Like you, you take hardwood. See that being a limiting factor. I did sell the truffles, though, that I had laying around. Okay. Just some spacing. So it's not like I have things to load in the At least for truffle oil. At least for truffle oil. Fine, this is fine. I keep this stuff in my inventory, he said, scowling. I guess I could just warp home. Oh, hold, hold on. Two of those aren't being used back there. What gives, Grim? What gives? I know how to interface. <laughs> Definitely know how to interface. Okay. Yeah, we haven't been able to claim truffles because the pigs haven't gone outside because it's raining. Well, I'm not using any more rain totems. Anytime soon. If ever. I will warp home. This'll do. Future Grimmer's gonna look at this inventory like, what the fuck? The Egg Festival's coming up on the 13th? Desert Festival, I want to have this playthrough go at least until the final day of the Desert Festival. And I may push this until the flower dance. We'll see. We'll see. But for now, it's the end of this endgame day. A little bit of G. Just a little bit. A little bit of spending money. Dinosaur eggs, some duck feathers, the star fruit wine, ostrich, ostrich eggs fall into farming, dinosaur eggs and the duck feathers fall into other. It is a mystery to everyone. 